There's a serene peace in curling up with a good book in a hanging swing chair or rocking chair, gently rocking yourself as you let the book take you on a journey. After all, books are like portable magic that help the mind travel, and the quality of the book is definitely worth your while. If you've been curious about some of the best books you need to read at least once in your lifetime, look no further, my friend, because we've compiled a simple and sweet list for you. Welcome to Alux.com, where future billionaires come to get inspired. Journey with us as we walk through 15 books you need to read in your lifetime. Number 1. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley Everyone's probably heard of the big bad monster called Frankenstein, but did you know it was based on a book? Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is a story about the scientist Victor Frankenstein who created a freak of nature by experimenting with body parts from different corpses. This is frequently cited as the first science fiction novel. Frankenstein teaches many lessons to its readers, such as checking your ambitions, especially when undertaking scientific exploration. It also argues the value of maternal instinct and the consequences of judging a book by its cover. Because of its appearance, the creature becomes a victim of prejudice and mistreatment even though he only wished for companionship. It shows that humanity can be very shallow as we take people at face value, not for who they really are. It's a cautionary tale on how badly some ventures can end even if they started with the best of intentions and the noblest of motivation. There's also a subtle message that, most times, there are consequences to trying to play God. Number 2. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald At some point in our lives, we've all heard the saying, the American dream, regardless of whether you're American or not. The Great Gatsby is a book that delves into the concept of the American dream. The main character, Jay Gatsby, is a case study on the American dream. The self-made man, the peak of success, the idea of financial independence, bringing security, freedom, and happiness, and how that ideal can implode for less noble goals. The Great Gatsby is a highly symbolic recreation of 1920s America, particularly the decay of the American dream in the era of prosperity and material excess. Number 3. Lord of the Flies by William Golding William Golding's Lord of the Flies is a story of a group of young boys who find themselves stranded on a deserted island. They eventually form groups and develop rules along with a system of organization, but without any adults to check on them or significant consequences for their actions, the children eventually become violent and brutal. The story showcases the conflict between two competing impulses that exist in all human beings. The instinct to live by rules, act peacefully and follow moral commands, against the instinct to gratify one's immediate desires and act violently to obtain supremacy over others. It's a classic battle of good versus evil within humans and society. It uses the children's way of coping with being stranded on an island to show us how corrupt humans really can be. Number 4. Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and Sharon Lechter Rich Dad Poor Dad is a self-help and financial classic. It's arguably one of the most important business and financial books you can read. The book uses two father figures to showcase the difference in lifestyle choices and how those choices can seriously affect your finances. It also highlights the importance of cash flow, savings, and spending wisely. It educates readers on financial concepts like the difference between assets and liabilities, and most importantly, the significance of investments. Number 5. Animal Farm by George Orwell Written by English writer George Orwell, Animal Farm takes the form of a fable. It tells a story of a group of farm animals who rebel against their human farmer, hoping to create a society that is just, where animals can be free, equal, and happy. Ultimately, though, the rebellion is betrayed and the farm ends up in a worse state under the dictatorship of a pig named Napoleon. The grand theme of Animal Farm is the capacity for ordinary individuals to continue to believe in a revolution after it's been betrayed. 
Orwell attempts to reveal how those in power, Napoleon and his fellow pigs, twist the democratic promise of the revolution. Indeed, a captivating and poignant read. Number 6. The Godfather by Mario Puzzo an absolute thriller of a novel by Mario Puzzo, The Godfather is such a masterpiece it needs no introduction. The Godfather is the story of the Mafia family Corleone, headed by Don Vito Corleone. It engulfs the reader in a story filled with themes around American crime, the powerful legacy of tradition, blood, and honor, the codes of the Mafia, the seduction of power, the pitfalls of greed, and most of all, the allegiance to family. Adapted into a movie of three parts, The Godfather set the stage for all great mafia movies Hollywood has given the world. It's a great story and a great piece of writing about the complexities of the mafia and the underworld. Number 7. The Art of War by Sun Tzu The Art of War by Chinese military strategist Sun Tzu is an ancient Chinese military book composed of 13 chapters. Each chapter is devoted to a different set of art or skills related to warfare and how it applies to military tactics and strategy. Although originally a military book, The Art of War has remained relevant over time because it's about strategy and tactics that can be applied to many areas of life, not just in battle. The book includes several subtle and practical tips to help you succeed in different aspects of life, such as sports, academics, and business. It's influenced leaders worldwide, and we think it should be high up on your list of books to read. Number 8. The Power of Habits by Charles Duhigg in The Power of Habit, Charles Duhigg simplifies why habits exist and how they can be adjusted to your benefit. The book showcases the importance of habits and routines in our lives. It argues that habits are the key to success in business, communities, and our personal lives. The book analyzes human nature and takes examples from successful business people, athletes, and leaders. It demonstrates how mastering powerful habits can change your life. If you need help understanding habits and how to develop good ones, well, this is certainly a book that you should read. Number 9. 1984 by George Orwell Another masterpiece by George Orwell, 1984 is a novel that discusses a dystopian world where the citizens have no freedom and life is miserable. 1984 explains the divide between the privileged class and the poor. The main character is part of the elite. He works for the government. His job is to manipulate events and history regularly so that no one knows what truly happened, which is supposed to prevent rebellion from the people. 1984 is all about how society works, how much selfishness still takes over everything, how much control governments have over their people, the power of fake news and propaganda in society, and how governments can use it to their advantage. Number 10. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee to Kill a Mockingbird is a novel about a young girl's coming-of-age story and a drama about the consequences of racism and prejudice, probing how good and evil can coexist within a single community or individual. The story centers on Jean Louise Scout Finch, a brilliant girl who ages from six to nine years old during the novel. She and her brother, Jeremy Atticus, are raised by their widowed father, Atticus Finch. Atticus is a well-known and respected lawyer. The title To Kill a Mockingbird is an allusion to how innocence, the mockingbird, can be destroyed. This is the story's central theme of how evil can destroy innocence. It touches on many vital concepts, such as not judging a book by its cover, courage, compassion, tolerance, and prejudice. Number 11. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie This is one of the best books about human relations and interactions and is full of insight into managing your personal and professional relationships with people. This book is a business staple necessary in understanding how to lead or manage a team. With key ideas on how to get people to like you, win people over to your way of thinking, and influence people without making them dislike you. 
If you relate with people daily at your job or simply want to improve your relationship with your family and friends, this book will provide you with all the knowledge you need for positive results. The book is easy to read and provides excellent examples and stories, making it much easier to relate to and remember. It's definitely a must read. Number 12. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger The Catcher in the Rye is a coming-of-age story. The novel narrates two days in the life of 16-year-old Holden Caulfield after he had been expelled from school because of his low grades. It's a book that's refreshing, relatable, and challenging. This novel throws its readers into the chaos of a teenage mind, something all or most of us have experienced to different degrees. The sense of disorientation is one that most of us will be subjected to at some point in our lives. Number 13. Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe Things Fall Apart was one of the first novels that portrayed African life from the African perspective. It remains a classic of modern African literature and a good expose of colonialism. The story records pre-colonial life in Nigeria and the arrival of the Europeans during the late 19th century. It's one of the first books that encouraged Africans to share their stories of imperialism from the perspective of the colonized. It discusses the clash of cultures, traditional values and belief systems, the intricacies of village life, and the complex social structures of Nigerian society at the time. The novel is so educational, it's frequently assigned reading in history, world literature, and African studies courses. Number 14. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens This is the story of French doctor Alexandre Manet, his 18-year-long imprisonment in the Bastille, the infamous Paris fortress converted into a prison, and his release to live in London with his daughter Lucy, whom he'd never met. The story is set in the late 1700s, with the conditions that led up to the French Revolution and the Reign of Terror. The novel also gives an understanding of history and the events of the French Revolution. It's a suspenseful and beautiful depiction of society's problems at the time. Number 15. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen follows the chaotic romance between Elizabeth Bennet, the daughter of a country gentleman, and Fitzwilliam Darcy, a wealthy aristocratic landowner. They must overcome pride and prejudice to fall in love and get married. As a tale of romance and fearless female independence sprinkled in with sharp and witty sarcasm, Pride and Prejudice is a bit of a page-turner. Now, it is not new information that one of the quickest and surefire ways to learn and broaden your horizons is to read books. Books of great quality help to improve your thinking and make you a smarter person overall. Win-win, right? Fortunately, we've already compiled another list of books that will help make you smarter in our video, 15 Books People Read to Get Smarter, so why not check out that one next? Thank you for watching this video, Aluxer. If you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this video for you to watch next or head over to our website for more amazing content. See you tomorrow.